myself. Okay, I had to get my guitar and turn off the air conditioner. And let's see, this is a song about a true incident that happened. Well, the robbery and murder was in 1885 in what was called Indian Territory. It's now called the state of Oklahoma. And the hanging took place in 1888. Out in the Indian Territory a long, long time ago Out in the Indian Territory A long, long time ago Jake Tobler went a-riding With his little brother Joe Jake said to his brother Better take your 44. Jake said to his brother, Better take your 44. A load of gold is coming to the reservation store. Jake rode to that campsite. And Joe was close behind. Jake rode to the campsite. And Joe was close behind. They shot two Indian agents. They left them there to die. I don't know if you know what a double eagle is. It was a $20 gold piece. One hundred double eagles All made of shiny gold One hundred double eagles All made of shiny gold They put them in their satchels Left them agents lying cold U.S. Marshal Stillwell Hide on the brother's trail U.S. Marshal Stillwell Hide on the brother's trail He got them Tobler brothers Put them into the Wichita jail Well, the judge, he read his verdict And he said what gotta be done That judge, he read his verdict He said what gotta be done The judge said to the marshal These brothers gotta be hung But Jake said to the marshal, Please let my brother go. Ah, Jake said to the marshal, Please let my brothers go. You could hang me from the gallows, Don't kill my brother Joe. But ten o'clock they killed them Both on the gallows high At ten o'clock they killed them Both on the gallows high And many a brown-eyed girl Hung down her head to cry The Tobler Brothers, ballad based on a true story, and it sounds traditional, but it was written by moi. Ah. Well done, Steve. It certainly does sound uh, traditional. Yeah, well done.
Um, okay, Mick Alfred is up next. Followed. I by only write. Tra- I should say oh. I only write traditional songs. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, so Mick Alfred now, followed by David Jones, please. Okay. I did a tune. Yeah. <clears throat> Done gently and sweetly, Mick. Very appropriate. Um, okay, uh, David Jones now, followed by Tim Radford, please. Are you there, David? We can't hear you. There we. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, that you have to press that little button, don't you? Anyway, this is a night visiting song called um, The Bay of Biscayle. My Willie sailed aboard a tender And where he is, I do not know I want to come down a bit, sorry. My Willie sailed aboard a tender and where he is, I do not know. For seven long years, I've been constantly waiting. Since he crossed the Bay of Biscay, oh. One night as Mary lay sleeping a knock came to her bedroom door saying arise arise my dearest Mary it is your long lost Willie Mary arose Put on 
her clothing unto her bedroom door did go and there she saw her Willie standing his cheeks as white as the driven snow oh Willie dear where are those blushes those blushes i knew long ago oh mary dear the cold waves have dashed them i'm but the ghost of your willy but mary dear the dawn is breaking i fear it's time for me to go and i must leave you broken hearted to cross the bay of biscay if i had gold and i had money and all the silver in mexico i would grant it all to the king of heaven to bring me back my willy mm. yeah. Thank you. Lovely to hear that, David. Thank you. Um, okay, Tim Radford is our next singer, and Tim will be followed by Pelagy, please. Good afternoon, everyone. A song from Hampshire. The sun was just rising one fine summer's morning. The birds from the bushes so sweetly did sing. And the lads and the lasses so merrily were moving to yonder large building their work to begin. I spied a fair damsel more brighter than Venus, her cheeks like the roses that none could excel. Her skin like the lily that grows in yon valley. This blooming young damsel was a factory girl. I step it up to this beautiful creature. She cast upon me a proud look of disdain. Stand back, sir, she cried, and do not insult me. I'm poor, but in poverty there is no sin. I stood in a flutter, knowing what was the matter. The god of love, Cupid, my heart had trepanned. I said, lovely fair maid, if you'll not be my bride, then my life I will waste in some far foreign land. What pleasure or treasure is love when tis wanting? Your love upon me has now cast a spell. I'll marry you speedily and make you my lady, if you'll be my own dearest factory girl. She gave her consent and license was purchased, that very same day the bells merrily did ring and to church then they went and when they returned the brave men and maidens so sweetly did sing <coughs> the factory girl collected from david clements of basingstoke mm. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you very much. Basing Stoke song. Who knew? Um, shame Bob Askew wasn't uh, here to hear, hear that um, rendition of a Hampshire song, but I'm sure he can catch up with it online. OK, mm -hmm. Pelagy, it's over to you now. And then let's hear from Tara, please. Right, you're going to have something seasonal for a change. It's a part of the passing of seasons where once there was bird song before. The song of late summer is coming. In August we'll hear the great roar. As folk dance with the coming of May and at harvest time bring in the sheaves, it's the ancient festival of leaf blowers. They'll be out rearranging the leaves. It's the call of the concept of tidy. Our streets will be filled with their sound. All weekend and Monday to Friday, they'll be moving the bastards around. You'll see them each day at their labours, hard at work in defence or attack. Some giving their leaves to their neighbours, some blowing their neighbours' leaves back. Sometimes, as I watch the leaves fall, I ponder on days such as these. Perhaps they should iron them all and stick them back up on the trees. I have studied, I listen and look. It all seems quite futile to me. I've been told that leaf blow blowers can suck, and I have to admit I agree. It's farewell to the fruitful and mellow, Time to cut short our autumn en masse. Be rid of the red, gold and yellow. We need to see gravel and grass. Watching leaves in this ferment of loud is a feast for the true connoisseur. Leaves that soar to the skies in a cloud and then land pretty much where they were. Each year, a celebration of failure. Somehow, this is not the solution, as they gather with gear and regalia for the annual redistribution. That's the ancient festival of leaf blowers, Les Barker. Thank you. You and, you and Les Barker make a, a perfect combination. Okay, um, it's Tara next, followed by Graham Baldwin. Hiya, um, my daughter made a new friend a couple of weeks ago and she's staying over with us tonight and she's half Scottish, half French. So uh, I thought I'd sing a Scottish one tonight. But uh, in, just in case you don't all speak Gaelic, especially not the way I pronounce it, I'm going to only do the chorus in Gaelic and I've kind of fiddled around with the English version to make something that anyway here we go uh, this is one I learned in Scotland at Gairlock with Christine Primrose here we go there 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 Many's the cold and dreary night I go walking all alone Till I'd reach that dear place Where my heart's true love lays There me oh There me oh There me oh to come ye. I would plough and I would reap. I'd provide for all your needs. I would take from the cold ground all that you need, my love. There me oh, There me oh, there me oh, 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 o
comes to get me. Though we are not married yet, I do hope we soon shall be. For as long as I've my two hands, we shall never be in need. Thank you. Lovely time. Lovely time. I was expecting you to do the uh, verse in French. <laughs> Over the last over the last year, I've learned to uh, that that is a macaronic song. I think I've learned that anyway, even even though it's not got any Italian in it. Um, yeah, lovely. Thank you, Tara. Okay, over now to Graham Baldwin, and then let's have Charles West. Well, hello everybody. Uh, now for something completely different. This is a song I'm sure most of you or many of you will know. It's um, it's. Uh, a wry and saucy song which was a favourite with fairground singers in the 18th century and it was first published in 1818 and uh, it goes by a number of names one of the common names is Rambling Sailor it's about a sailor being taken for a ride by a trim rig doxy while ashore and it goes like this I'm sure you all know this one <laughs> let me get this going first I am a sailor brisk and bold Long time I sailed in ocean And I fought for my king and my country too For honour and promotion But now my brother shipmates up with you all the Jew No more will I go to sea with you I'll ramble the country through and through And I'll be a rambling sailor Now it's off to the village that I went, where I saw the lasses pretty. And boldly stepped up to one of them to court her for her beauty. Oh, her cheeks they were like rosy red, she had a fine feather bonnet on her head. I can't word on her, but she said she was a maid that saucy little Jimmy Foxy. Shout and I won't go with you, you saucy rambling sailor. For me parents, they would never agree. For I promised to a tailor, but I was hot, but you're eager to rifle the charms. A guinea says I for a roll in your arms. The deal was done, and upstairs we went. Myself in the trim with Doxy. And the shot locker empty asleep I fell And soon she fell to Robin She robbed all of my pockets of everything I had She stole my new boots from underneath the bed She stole my gold watch from underneath the head The saucy man trimmed the proxy And when I awoke in the morning bright I started to roar like thunder for me go watch and me money too. She bore away in for plunder. Now it wasn't for me much, nor me money too. For them I don't value, but I'll tell you true. Her little fire bucket went the bob style through. That saucy little trim with Doxy. Trim 
Nick Doxy. Thank you. Hey. 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 <laughs> Woo, rising stuff, Graham. Charles is next, followed by David Kidman. Well, that's always a tough act to follow, following Graham, but uh, I've got an old traditional song from the 60s that the, uh, the Limelighters did this. And uh, I've been working on it for, for a long, long time, and I'm hoping it's going to work this time. It's, of course, it's going to work because I'll do it a cappella, if nothing else. But this is corn whiskey. Thanks, Charles. I would say that worked. Yep, definitely. Okay, um, David Kidman is up next, followed by Martin Neal. Right. Hi, everyone. Um, my backdrop will give a slight clue to the song I'm going to sing, probably. <laughs> um, it normally does. You probably all heard of um, Nancy Griffith died last weekend. Um, I'm not going to sing one of her songs, but a song which she did sing, and there's a rather marvellous recording of her singing it at the Transatlantic Sessions. Uh, it's one of the f finest songs of all time, in my opinion. I hope I can do it justice for you tonight. Across the evening sky 
All the birds are leaving, but how can they know? It's time for them to go. Before the winter fire, I will still be dreaming. I have no thought of time. But who knows where the time goes? Who knows where the time goes? Sad, deserted shore. Your fickle friends are leaving. Ah, but then you know it's time for them to go. But I will still be here. I have no thought of leaving. I do not count the time. For who knows where the time goes? Who knows where the time goes. And I am not alone, while my love is near me. I know it will be so. Until it's time to go. So come the storms of winter, and then the birds in spring again. I have no fear of time, for who knows how my love grows, who knows where the time goes, yes, who knows how my love grows? And who knows where the time goes? And I don't know. Um, I doubt anybody does. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the amazing thing oh, is Sadie hey. Denny was only like 17 when she wrote that. Wow. Impressive stuff. Um, okay. So, thank you, David. It's Martin Nail next, followed by Dave Mason. <clears throat> right, I uh, time to uh, lower the tone, I think, um, by singing a song about 
how to frame your questions correctly. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Yonder her stands a charming great Jaho, she is, I do not know. I will court her for her beauty, she must answer me yes or no. Oh dear, oh no, sir, no, still her answer to me was no. Madam, I am come a courting, hoping your favour I shall gain. If you will kindly entertain me, perhaps some day I may call again. Oh dear, oh no, sir, no. Still her answer to me was no. Oh, me husband, he is a Spanish captain, went to sea three weeks ago. Very last time where he kissed and parted, he bid me always answer no. Oh, dear, oh, no, sir, no. Still her answer to me was no. Pretty maid a walking all in your garden, now alone her could you be. If I should walk along beside you, would that be any harm of me? Oh dear, oh, no sir, no, still her answer to me was no. Stooping down to who tie her garter just a little above the knee. If my hand should slip any further, would that be any harm to thee? Oh dear, oh, no, sir, no, still her answer to me was no. So all night they stayed together till the cocks begin to crow. Now the daylight's fast approaching. Open your arms, love, and let me go. Oh dear, oh, no, sir, no. Still her answer to me was no. Just one thing before we part, love, that's before you let me go. Was you ever her kissed more sweeter? Was you ever cuddled so? Oh dear, oh, no, sir, no. Still her answer to me was no. No, sir, no. Another no means yes song. We're having a spate of them uh, these last few weeks. Interesting. Um, okay, uh, it is time now for Dave Mason and then Sadie Damascus. Hi, everyone. Um, so uh, the time's arrived. Uh, Thursday we take my daughter to university. <laughs> All these things that are happening and whatever. So uh, another friend of mine in the US is uh, doing a little bit of a project on um, events in your life and things that you wish you'd had done but somehow slipped through your fingers because of circumstances, because of fear, because of obligations because whatever and then what she was trying to do is then have people write their um, their ideas based on their added years on what they would have done differently or how they would have handled the situation and um, or the situations that they've been in that they wished had happened um, got me thinking about um, all those people who get into relationships we often hear songs about relationships that fail, but um, what about those relationships that even they, even though they face so much um, pressure and so much um, tension 
survive. So this is a little song that's dedicated to all those people who, whose love continues irrespective of the situation that they find themselves in. So it's called Smiling Eyes and it's a song of mine.
good to have you back with us, Dave, and thanks for that song. Surprise kind of ending there, yeah. Okay, um, Sadie Damascus is our next singer, followed please by John White. Hi. Uh, you're probably wondering about my um, uh, masking tape beard. Well, I was going to say that I was trying to get eggs out of an owl's nest or that I had a nose job, but I figured you'd see through those. So the real truth is I cracked my chin on the floor of my hardware store yesterday. <laughs> and you don't want to see what's underneath. Anyway, uh, here's another song about relationship. <sighs> when we, when we gonna marry, marry, marry. When we gonna marry, dear old Buffalo boy. I guess we'll marry in a week, in a week. In a week, I guess we'll marry in a week. That is, if the weather be good. Oh, what you gonna take to the wedding? The wedding, the wedding. What you gonna take to the wedding, dear old buffalo boy? I thought I'd take my ox cart, my ox cart, my ox cart. I thought I'd take my ox cart. That is, if the weather be good. Why don't you take your buggy, your buggy, your buggy? Why don't you take your buggy, dear old buffalo boy? My ox won't pull no buggy, no buggy, no buggy. My ox won't pull no buggy, not even if the weather be good. Well, who are you going to bring to the wedding, the wedding, the wedding? Who are you going to bring to the wedding? Dear old buffalo boy, I thought I'd bring my children, my children, my children. I thought I'd bring my children, that is, if the weather be good. Oh, I didn't know you had no children, no children, no children. I didn't know you had no children, dear old buffalo boy. Why, well, sure, I got six children, six children, six children. Sure, I got six children. Well, well, whether or not the weather be good. Oh, there ain't gonna be no wedding, no wedding, no wedding. There ain't gonna be no wedding, not even if the weather be good. Yay. <laughs> 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 I was not expecting a duet. Brilliant stuff, Sadie. And sorry to hear about your encounter with the floor. I hope uh, you heal well. Okay, John White is next. Um, uh, Livy will unmute John as usual, and I will have a bash after John. Okay. Well, here's a song that uh, celebrates good English beer and, and good, good English pubs and the people who work during the day and meet there in the evenings. When Jonesy's Ale was new. Come all you honest labouring men who work hard all of the day. Come join with me the barley mow to pass an hour away where we can laugh and sing and be merry and drive away all our cares and worry when Jonesy's ale is new, me boys, when Jonesy's ale was new. And the first to come in is the ploughman with sweat all on his brow. Up with the lark at the break of day, he guides his speedy plough. He drives his team how they do toil, hill and valley to till the soil. When Jones's ale was new, me boys, when Jones's ale was new. And the next to come in was the blacksmith with his brawny arms all bare. And with his pint of Jones's ale, he has no fear nor care. Throughout the day, his hammer he's swinging, and he sings as he hears his anvil ringing. When Jones's ale was new, me boys, when Jones's ale was new. And the next to come in was the scythe man, so cheerful and so brown. And with the rhythm of his scythe, the corn he does mow down. 
He works, he mows, he sweats and he blows, and leaves his swains laying all in rows. When Jones's ale was new, we boys, when Jones's ale was new. And the next to come in was the tinker, and he was no small beer drinker. He was no small beer drinker to join in that jovial crew. He told the old woman he'd mend her old kettle. Good Lord, how his hammer and tongs did rattle. When Jones's ale was new, we boys, when Jones's ale was new. So here's to Jones, our landlord, a jovial man is he. Likewise, his wife, a buxom lass, who joins in harmony. We wish them happiness and goodwill, as our pots and glasses they do fill. When Jones's ale was new, me boys, when Jones's ale was new. Jones's ale. Still in fine voice. Very well done, as always, John. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much. So I'm going to sing next, followed by Kathy Dent, please. And um, yeah, this song, I have not sung this song before. Uh, I've learned it recently and uh, it's quite possible that I'm not going to sing it tonight either, but we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> it's actually one uh, Tom Reed. Uh, suggested it to me and it's taken me ages to get round to, to it but finally now um, I thought I'd give it a, a go Why weep ye by the tide lady Why weep ye by the tide I'll wed ye to my youngest son and ye shall be his bride and ye shall be his bride lady say comely to be seen but I she's let her tears do fall for Jock O'Hazeldean. Now let this willful grief be done and dry that cheek so pale. Young Frank is chief for Errington and Lord O'Langleydale. His step is first in peaceful hall, his sword in battle keen. But I, she's let the tears do fall for Jock O'Hazeldean. A chain of gold you shall not lack, nor braid to bind your hair, nor metal hound, nor managed hawk, nor palfrey fresh and fair. And ye, the first among them all, shall ride our forest queen. But I, she's let the tears do fall for Jock O'Hazeldean. The kirk was decked at morning tide, the tapers glimmered fair. The priest and bridegroom wait the bride, and the man night were there. They sought her first in bower and hall, the lady was na seen. She's o'er the border and the wall, we jock o Hazeldean. Fantastic, yeah. Thank you very much. I learned the words for that last night. Um, for, so that I was wondering <laughs> if I was going to manage. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, sometimes when a song's a good fit, that's all it takes. So anyway, it's Kathy next, followed by Pete and Maggie, please. Okay. Yesterday was the uh, was the anniversary of the Peterloo massacre. So as always, I shall sing Peterloo um, by Harvey Kershaw. On Peter's fields in Manchester, in year 1819, when cotton folk of Lancashire in protest did combine, corn laws had brought them crippling tax, and the price of food near broke folks' backs, and set alight the smouldering flax and bristled many a spine. Salute once more these men of yore who were to conscience true and who give their blood for the common good on field of Peterloo. Sixteenth day of August brought the sound of marching feet when workers 50,000 strong on Peter's field did meet. From Mount Street in the upstairs room, the magistrates looked down with gloom and scoffed this rabble o'er the loom. Vengeance, they thought, was sweet. Salute once more these men of your who were to conscience true and give their blood for common good on fields of Peterloo. Then riot act were garbled out at Parson Hayes' command for this here Rochdale vicar made with riches living in land. But folk had meet in never knew of the riot act till the bugles blew and mounted redcoats come in view with sabres in their hand. Salute once more these men of yore who were to conscience true and who give their blood for common good on field of Peterloo. These soldiers mowed folks down like fries, their sabres dripped with blood. They spared no man or woman's cry, but pierced them where they stood. Many dead that day were named, and hundreds more were hurt and maimed. While tyrants watching unashamed said, it to do him good. Salute once more these men of yore who were to conscience true, who give their blood for common good on field of Peterloo. For many a year folk struggled on till 1832. Reform Act come corn laws were done and food were cheaper too. John Bright and Copton paved the way and then where Peter's fields once lay the free trade hall stood many a day on field of Peterloo. Salute once more these men of your who were to conscience true and who give their blood for the common good on field of Peterloo. This fine hall it stood intact till the new millennium turned, built with cotton money to recall the terrible lessons learned. But rich developers wanted the land on Peter's field a hotel was planned where the workers fell just the plaque now stands on the fields of Peterloo salute once more these men of yore 
who were to conscience true, who give their blood for common good on the field of Peterloo. Peterloo. <laughs> Good piece of history, well sung, Cathy. Thanks. Okay, um, Pete and Maggie are next, followed by Alison. Hello, oh, got notes there. Yeah. Okay, we had um, some sad news this afternoon, which is our friend Rebecca Over, who is a passionately devoted to sacred harp singing, had been killed in a car accident. Um, so we wanted to sing a sacred harp song for her. But I think it's not particularly one of her favorites. She spent a lot of time in the southeastern United States, although she is a Brit, and uh, became a, adopted by the McGraw family, who write a lot of sacred mm -hmm. harp songs. But this is one mm -hmm. we like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and we'll sing the, the sacred harp shapes as she would, would want. <laughs> So la fa fa so la so 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 la so fa. Farewell, vain world, I'm going home. My Savior smiles and bids me come, and I don't care to stay here long. Sweet angels beckon me away to sing God's praise in endless day, and I don't care to stay here long. Rise up, Christians, yonder. Rise up, yonder, Christians, away up yonder. Oh, yes, my Lord, for I don't care to stay here long. I'm glad that I am born to die from grief and woe. My soul shall fly, and I don't care to stay here long. Bright angels shall convey me home, away to the new Jerusalem, and I don't care to stay here long. Right up yonder, Christians, away up yonder. Oh, yes, my Lord, for I don't care to stay here long. I hope to meet my brethren there who oft have met with me in prayer, and I don't care to stay here long. Our morning time will soon be o'er, and we shall live to die no more, and I don't care to stay here long. Right up yonder, Christians, away up yonder. Oh, yes, my Lord, for I don't care to stay here long. Right up yonder, Christians, away up yonder. Oh, yes, my Lord, for I don't care to stay here long. Hallelujah. If you've been involved in the folk clubs to the southwest of London, you might also have known Rebecca from years ago. She was a long time singer in folk clubs before she took up Sacred Heart singing as well. Thanks, Maggie and Pete. So sorry to hear about your friend, but um, good to hear that song and the harmonies. Um, okay, Alison is next, and then let's have Paddy Hannan. Okay, hi. Um, I'm going to sing um, a song. Uh, it's called High Germany, but it's not that High Germany. Um, it's probably a version of another song called The True Lovers. Abroad as I was walking and a walking all alone. I heard two lovers talking and a singing a fine song. Says the younger one unto the fair one, Bonnie lassie, I must away, for the king he has come 
commanded, and his orders we must obey. But not what you promised me when you did me beguile. You said you would marry me if I should prove with child. It's do not me forsake but pity, for along with you I will go to fight the French or Spaniards or any other daring foe. I'm afraid the treacherous journey's love they will cause you for to weep. Those hills and lofty mountains, they will blister your tender feet. You will not yield to lying in an open field with me all night long. And your parents, they will be angry if along with me you do wrong. My friends I do not value, nor my foes I do not fear. But along with me jolly sailor boy, I will venture far and near. It's gold shall not trepan, nor any other man, for along with you I will go. To fight the French and Spaniards, and any other daring foe. Oh, since you've been so venturesome, and to venture your sweet life, but first I will marry you, and make you my lawful wife. And if any one offend, I'll be there, of that you will see. You shall hear the drums and trumpets sound in the wars of high Germany. You shall hear the drums and trumpets sound in the wars of high Germany. Mm. Oh, Beautiful song. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wonderful. Great stuff, Alison. Um, we've missed you over the last few weeks, so good to have you back and to hear that. Um, all right, Paddy, followed by Simon Prager, please. Okay, um, this is uh, Bird in the Bush. I do not think it lowers the tone. I think it treats its subject with a rare delicacy, and it's got a cracking tune. A fair maid a milk indigo a fair maid a milking did go, and the wind it blew high, and the wind it blew low, and it waved her pails to and fro. She's met with a young man she knew. She's met with a young man she knew, and she's asked of him if he has any skill in catching a small bird or two. Oh, indeed, I've a very fine skill. Indeed, I've a very fine skill, and if you'll come along with me to yonder greenwood tree, I might catch you a small bird or two. So along to the greenwood they went. Along to the green wood they went, and the bird it flew in, and the bird it flew out, just above a lily white knee. Here's a health to the bird in the bush, a health to the bird in the bush. And the 
birds of one feather, they should always lie together. Let the people say little or much. Bird in the bush. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. Thanks, Paddy. Very, very minor. I like that. Um, okay. Uh, Simon Prager is next. And let's have Paul after Simon, please. Thanks. Um, I couldn't remember if I've ever done this one. And then I thought, if I can't remember, you probably can't either. <laughs> uh, this song was written by a very great songwriter. I, you'll, you'll know who it is. I got this from the Mills Brothers. Long as there is chicken gravy on your rice, everything is nice. Long as there's a watermelon on the vine, everything is fine. You've got no time to work. No time to play, you're busy doing nothing all the live long day. But you won't ever change, no matter what I say. You just born that way. You just a lazy boat lying in the sun. How you expect to get your day's work done? Don't want to get my day's work done I'm sleeping in this evening sun Lazy bones loafing in the shade How you expect to get your cornmeal made Don't want to get my cornmeal made Sleeping in this evening when taters need spraying, I bet you keep praying the bugs fall off of the vine. And when you go fishing, I bet you keep wishing that the fish don't grab at your line. Lazy bones, loafing all the day, how you expect to get a dime that don't want to get a dime, no way, can't you see? Ain't that a word you say? of the vine and when you go fishing I bet you keep wishing that the fish don't grab at your line lazy bones loafing all the day how you expect to make a dime that way don't want to make a dime no way can't you see ain't it a word you say Wanna make a dime, no way Ain't heard a word you say Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you get the name Hoagie? Hoagie, Hoagie is right. Yes. Hoagie. Where does Hoagie? 
okay, okay. And we we heard every every word, uh, every word, Simon. We were paying attention. We weren't too lazy to listen. I apologise if did did strange things happen to people's screens at one. Yeah, I apologise. I have a new version of Zoom, and it gave me an option of immersive view alongside gallery view and the other one. And I assumed it applied only to me, so I I was playing with it. But apparently, it applies to everybody else as well. I will not do that again. Um, but it did not uh, spoil our enjoyment of Simon's performance at all. OK, over now to Pal and then let's have Riggy. Lovely to hear that, Simon. My dad used to sing me that. He didn't sing it anything like as well as you do. Uh, this is not in like vein, I'm sorry to say. It's another miserable one. <clears throat> I once loved a boy and a bonny, bonny boy who would come and would go at request. And this handsome young boy was my pride and my joy. And he built me a bower in my, and I built him a bower in my breast and i built him a bower in my breast well up the long alley and down the green valley like one who is troubled in mind i hollered and i hooped and i played upon my flute but no bonny boy could i find but no bonny boy could i find i sat myself down on a green mossy bank where the sun it shone wonderful warm. and who should i spy but my own bonny boy fast locked in some other girl's arms fast locked in some other girl's arms well, the girl who's the joy of my own bonny boy, let her make of him all that she can. For whether he loves me, or whether he don't, I shall walk with that boy now and then. I shall walk with that boy now and then. You do sad songs so well, pal. <laughs> I love it. Okay, it's going to be Riggy next, and then Sheila Miller, you will close the first half for us, please. So Riggy, then Sheila. Thank you very much. This is such a great night for everybody, must agree. Many years ago, actually it's 50 years right now, I was arriving in Newcastle 50 years ago. And here's a uh, Geordie cowboy song that's become a little Americanized cowboy song. Now the cows come home, but I saw not my honey. The cows all come home, but I saw not my babe. I'd rather lost all the cows than lost my honey. I'd rather lost all the cows than lost my babe. Fair faced is my honey, his blue eyes are bonny. Hair and curl ringlets hang sweet to my sight. So I'm out the old pony and go and seek after him. Bring to his mummy her own wee delight. 
He's always out roaming the long summer's day through. He's always out wandering how far from the farm. Past hedges and ditches and valleys and hillsides I hope that my baby has come to no harm. I've searched the meadows and through the cow pastures, stockyards and byers, but none could I find. So off you go, Daddy, and look for you, laddie, and bring to his mummy some peace to her mind. Now the cows come home, but I saw not my honey. The cows all come home, I will not my baby. I'd rather lost all the cows than lost my honey. I'd rather lost all the cows than lost my baby. Thank you, Johnny Handel. <laughs> Johnny Handel. Lovely, Riggy. Um, I think someone's just called you Piggy in the chat. I'm not sure, but I... Um... <laughs> I, I always tell people it's like Piggy with an R. Okay, well, this time it's just Piggy. So, um, okay. Um, Sheila, it is over to you to close the first half. Um, after Sheila, we shall have parish notices, a brief break, and then we'll come back for lots more fantastic singers in the second half. So, um, Sheila, it's over to you. Um, this is a, a short, sad song from the singing of Cathy Stewart uh, from Blair Gowrie. <coughs> oh, Sheila did start singing it as well after Cathy died, but, uh, but it was Cathy's song originally. Uh, yes, if I could just start it, that would be a good uh, start. Oh, your comrades and companions, and all you maidens true, to my sad lamentation, I'd... I've just messed that up, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Oh, your comrades and companions, and all you maidens dear, to my sad lamentation, I'd have you lend an ear For once I loved a bonny lass But to me she proved untrue And she left me down my Hatton woods My folly for to rue Well I courted way that bonny lass A twelvemonth and a day Sometimes among the green grass, sometimes among the hay. I courted her the lee and necked till the dark o' oh, the next day, till she said, my ain dear sandy lad, it's time you were away. Then said I, my ain dear molly lass, when will there come a time? When you and I'll get married and hands together join, you'll sit in we're in cottage and either spin or shoe, while your ain get hearted sandy lad gangs whistling at the blue. I'm about to sneeze, sorry. <coughs> Well, there's Caddam and there's Caddam Mills and Loudy Mills likewise. There are woods and waters many, unseen unto your eyes. But the bonny woods o' oh, Hatton, they I grow green in May. And twas there a bonny lassie lived that stole my heart away. Oh, my blessings on you, bonny lass, wherever you may be. I wish no evil unto you, 
Although you slighted me, I only wish that you may say some time before you dee. Oh, I wish I'd wed yon plumin lad that sang so sweet to me. Lovely to hear that, um, Sheila. Yeah, great song. Okay, um, uh, advance warning. Um, well, not advance warning. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, I apologize for what I'm going to inflict on everyone, but at least it is short, four verses. So here we go. And of course, it's hard for me to tell what I'm doing with the puppet because it's on the opposite side of the screen from my hand. Oh, great. So anyway. How delightful to see in the evenings in spring the sheep coming home to their fold. The master doth sing as he views everything and his dog goes before him we're told. And his dog goes before him, we're told. The sixth month of the year, in the month call it June, when the weather's too hot, whew, to be born. The master doth say, as he goes on his way, tomorrow my sheep shall be shorn. Tomorrow my sheep shall be shorn. Now as for those sheep, they're delightful to see. They're a blessing to man on his farm. For their flesh it is good. It's the best of all food. And the wool, it will clothe us up warm. And the wool, it will clothe us up warm. Now the sheep, they're all shorn. And the wool carried home. Here's a help to our master and flock. And if we should stay till the last goes away, I'm afraid to be past twelve o'clock. I'm afraid twill be past twelve o'clock. Oh, that was brilliant. I want that shoot. <laughs> this is Waldorf. Anyway. Fabulous stuff, Stacey. And and wool dog, did you say? Anyway. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Um definitely our cutest singer so far, I think, there. Um okay. Uh Jim Lucas is next, followed by the asynchronous demi quartet. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I may not be singing. Um, I want to make sure that I have permission from Deirdre Bielopadin to play a tune. Will she say this? It's your creation, Jim. You go for it. Okay. <laughs> this is a tune that I composed as a birthday present for her in 1983 and um, I've hardly played it since I regret to say but um, I thought I'd try it and my idea when I composed it uh, was that it would someone might be able to put a Playford style dance to it. Um, oh, and the title of the tune is Lady Lawyer because that's what she was studying to be at the time. <laughs> 
and um, happy birthday Deirdre whenever it is um, so uh, over now to the asynchronous demi quartet I hope they both know who they are uh, one of them does I hope the other one does <laughs> followed by Dave Harbord please yes ah thank you yes the the asynchronous demi quartet uh, is pleased to uh, present for the second time one of its famous performances uh, to this distinguished uh, venue. <clears throat> it was on a much it was, it was on a Monday morning. Uh, let me get the tune right, otherwise my partner will shoot me, right? Uh, Actually, while you're doing that, David, shall I shall I put you both on the um, pin thing? Oh, we'll spotlight clever. you. Clever. And uh, yes. uh, oh, I want to spotlight somebody yeah. else, but I can't see how to do it now. My true love. It was oh. on a Monday morning. Actually, I'm not sure I've got that right. I can't find a way to oh. spotlight. Well, you've got me, else. so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm demoting you. <laughs> okay, do that, otherwise you won't get the, my partner there. Yeah. It was on a Monday morning now, the rain it was a raining. My true love came to me and said, When shall you and I be wet? For I have bought a double bed. And mother, she's complaining. And all the while the rain, it was a raining. It was on a Tuesday morning, oh, the snow, it lay a glistening. My love still hadn't gone away. So I did ask her mistress, pray, 
What was it you said yesterday? I really wasn't listening. And all the while, the snow, it was a glistening. It was on a Wednesday morning, oh, the hail, it was a hailing. My love, she made a quick report, retort. She said, to cut the story short, I've bought a bed the double sort. Your hearing must be failing. And all the while, the hail, it was a hailing. Twas on a Thursday morning, oh, the day was not a hot one. I said, you brought a double bed. Well, that was what I thought you said. You must be going off your head, for I've already got one. And all the while, the day was not a hot one. It was on a Friday morning, oh. Nobody spoke. Nobody spoke. Mm. It was on a Saturday morning, oh, the thunder, it was frightening. I shouted so that I'd be heard. Oh, let us marry on the third. But did she answer? Not one word. For she'd been struck by lightning. And after that, the weather started brightening. We have had all kinds of entertainment this evening, I have to say. This has been one of the most varied evenings we've had. Brilliant. Okay, thank you, the asynchronous Demi Quartet, both of you. Um, over now to Dave Harbord, and then we shall have Chris Carpenter and Deirdre Bialo Padine. Right. Um, there's loads of versions of this song, and most of them are quite crude and vulgar, but you'll be. A, Disappointed to know that I'm not going to sing one of those versions. I'm going to sing a straight one. Well, yeah. Anyway, she was poor, but she was honest. Pure and stained was her name. Till she's met a rich young squire, and his poor girl lost her name. It's the same the old world over. It's the poor what gets the blame. It's the rich what gets the pleasure. Ain't it all a blooming shame? In that rich man's arms she's fluttered like a bird with broken wing. First he's loved her and he's left her and his poor girl's got no ring it's the same the old world over it's a poor what gets the blame it's the rich what gets the pleasure ain't it all a blooming shame standing on the bridge at midnight throwing snowballs at the moon she said sir i'm but a maiden Ah, oh, she spoke to bloody soon. It's the same the old world over. It's a poor who gets the blame. It's the rich who gets the pleasure. Ain't it all a blooming shame? Hear him in the house of commons talking bollock all the time, while the victim of his passion crawls away to either shine. 
That's poetry, that is. It's the same the old world over. It's the poor who gets the blame. It's the rich who gets the pleasure. Ain't it all a blooming shame? So she ran away to London for to hide her grief and shame. There she's met an army captain. Now she's lost her name again. She'll never learn that girl. It's the same the old world over. It's the poor who gets the blame. It's the rich who gets the pleasure. Ain't it all a blooming shame? In a Rose M. Bowered cottage where her ancient parents live, there they sip champagne she sends them but they never can forgive it's bloody tragic it's a safe the old world over it's a poor what gets the blame it's the rich what gets the pleasure ain't it all a blooming shame <laughs> I love the way you do uh, running commentary in your own song there, Dave. Um, yeah, it certainly is tragic. Okay, um, so Chris, um, Chris and Deirdre, unless you're singing together, I, I, I would love it if Tamsin could also sing before she leaves, but I think she might have just left, so it's probably too late. I was going to ask her to sing after Chris, but um, that looks like it's not happening. So it will be Chris, then Deirdre, and then Neil Turner Nash, please. Go. I think it's going to be Deirdre, then Chris. Um, as you wish. As you wish. <laughs> as you wish. <laughs> In, in my career as an attorney, I worked with many victims of domestic violence and um, what they all knew, which many of us didn't know, is that it was sometimes often safer to stay in a relationship than to leave it. And uh, th femicide statistics support that. Um, so this is uh, Mickey's warning. Oh, friends, I have a sad story. A very sad story to tell. I married a man for his money, and he's worse than the devil himself. And I'll go and I'll get blue blazing blind drunk just to give Mickey a warning. And just for despite, I'll stay out all night and come home rolling drunk in the morning. When Mickey comes home in the evening, he batters me all black and blue. And if I say one word, I get spattered from the kitchen right to the bedroom. And I'll go and I'll get blue blazing blind drunk just to give Mickey a warning. And just for despite, I'll stay out all night and come home rolling drunk in the morning. Well, of whiskey, I've never been a lover. But what can a poor woman do? I'll go and I'll drown all my sorrows. How I wish I could drown Mickey, too. And I'll go and I'll get blue blazing blind drunk just to give Mickey a warning and just for despite I'll stay out all night and come home rolling drunk in the morning. Nicely done, Deirdre. Um, over now to Chris. And after Chris, let's hear from Neil Turner Nash. 
Just so everyone knows, she wasn't talking about me uh, <laughs> just then. So I'm going to do a Scott song that I uh, got from an Archie Fisher uh, record. Uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very, uh, I like Scott's song. And uh, although I, I wasn't really too good at Broad Scots until Johnny Cunningham back in the, in the 80s in Philadelphia taught me a few words and then it just took off from there. So this is called Mount and Go. Mount and Go. Mm, my pet, hmm. Let me go, take it up. My parents married me out young. Tea and old Carl both bald and dumb. His love was done and my new sprung and I'll fly the plains with my laddie yo. Come bunny laddie mount and go. Hey bunny laddie mount and go. Come bunny laddie mount and go. Mount and I'll gang away yo. If it's I would leave my good peat stack and say what I my good keel yeard and say what I my old pod laird to fly the plains with my laddie he o come bonny laddie mount and go hey bonny laddie mount and go come bonny laddie mount and go mount and I'll gang we o so when the old cow lay fast asleep. Out of his arms she did swiftly creep, and the keys to the cabin she did keep. She flew on the plains with a lad he o. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Hey, bunny laddie, mount and go. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Mount and I'll hang with ye o. Well, the old cattle's walking down the ha, the sheets are and she was a wow with the weight of a cell in cold and ah, she's flown the plains with a laddie o. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Hey, bunny laddie, mount and go. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Mount and I'll gang we o. It's a you'll gang dune to yon sea shore. You'll see a ship. Oh, where she was afore, you'll spear at the skipper if she's been there, or if any other sailor saw her. Oh, come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Hey, bunny laddie, mount and go. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Mount and I'll get away, yo. And when they sailed to Tarian Lee, she drank a toast as a merrily. She's thrown the wine glass into the sea, for joy she is fun with her laddie, yo. Come, bonny laddie, mount and go. Hey, bonny laddie, mount and go. Come, bonny laddie, mount and go. Mount and I'll gang way, yo. And when they've landed our young Lee, she was lady of fifth. Fifty plows and three, lady of fifty plows and three, and she dearly lose her laddie o. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Hey, bunny laddie, mount and go. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Mount and I'll gang away yo. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go. Hey, bunny laddie, mount and go. Come, bunny laddie, mount and go, mount and I'll gang we yo. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Uh, good to hear you, and good to, good to hear a couple of Scott songs from the other side of the Atlantic. Um, from both of you. Okay, over now to Neil, and after Neil, um, we shall have Gwyneth try, please. Can you wave at me if I sound too loud? No, nope, right, I'll press on then. A night visiting song from Dorset. As I stood under as I stood under my love's window one night, I cried so shrill, a shrill, a shrill, a shrill indeed. My love, she arose and put on her clothes and come down and let me in. 
Now when I beheld my true love's charms, all oh, me heart beats so faint, so very faint, so very faint. I gathered her up all in my arms and carried her off to bed. Now in the first part of the night we did sport and play, so pretty play, so pretty play. And in the second part of the night asleep in me arms she lay. Now my love she had a cock, a pretty crowing cock, and he crowed in the morn so very soon, so very soon. My love she thought it day, and she hastened me away, but it proved to be the light of the moon. Now the cock he did crow, and the wind it did blow, all over the plain, so very plain, so very plain. I wished myself back in me true love's arms, and she in a bed again. Now I'll be true to my love, as the sun do shine, all over the fallow, the fallow, fallow, fallow ground. But if my love ain't true to me, as I am to she, well, I'd rather she was lost than found. Well sung, well sung. Good stuff, Neil, or although a bit of a harsh ending, as it were. Um, callous ending, perhaps. Anyway, um, over to Gwyneth. Sadly, we've lost Tamsin, um, but uh, we shall have Gwyneth try instead, followed by Wendy Grossman. Oh, and before Gwyneth starts, sorry, Gwyneth, um, I, we have about half a dozen singers still on the list, which means we're likely to have a few slots for second songs at the end or for people who have recently arrived and haven't put their hands up yet and haven't sung this evening. So please um, put your hands up if you want to sing this evening again and I shall pick from you. Um, OK, over to you, Gwyneth. Um, this is a song which I first learnt at primary school. There are versions from various places, um, but this is the Lincolnshire version. When, <clears throat> the Lincolnshire poacher. When I was bound apprentice in famous Lincolnshire, full well I served my master for more than seven years, till I took up to poaching, as you shall quickly hear. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. As me and my companions were setting off a snare, for twas then we spied the gamekeeper, for him we did not care, for we can wrestle and fight, me boys, and jump or anywhere. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. Oh, tis my delight at a shining night, the season of the year. As me and my companions were setting four or five, and taking on a mop again, we caught a care alive. We took the hare alive, me boys, and through the woods did steer. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night, the season of the year. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. I took him, sorry, I took him on my shoulder and then we trudged home. We took him to a neighbour's house and sold him for a crown. We sold him for a crown, me boys, I did not tell you where. For tis 
my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. Success to every gentleman who lives in Lincolnshire. Success to every porter who wants to sell a hair. Bad luck to every gamekeeper who will not sell his deer. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. Oh, tis my delight on a shining night in the season of the year. Mm. Thank you. Browsing mm. mm. stuff, Gwyneth, thank you. Looks like a wintry season behind you in your backdrop there. Um, okay, Wendy Grossman is next, followed by Chris and Ian. Are you with us, Wendy? I think that's you unmuted. Can't hear a thing. Oh, no, you're, it was showing you as unmuted, but we can't hear you. I switched microphones as well. Ah, that's better. Yeah, that's good. Get the other one. Sorry about that. Am I with you now? Loud and clear. Uh, to, start, to start again, this is part of my ongoing effort to address the uh, insufficiency of clay ham claw hammer banjo in uh, Scottish music. I'm sure we will all agree it's insufficient. Shepherd's daughter. 
But had you been a shepherd lad, herding yows in yonder's valley, or had you been a ploughman's son, then with all my heart I could have loved you. I've been to halls and I've been to balls. I've been to London and Balquidder, but the bonniest lass that e'er I saw, she was herding yells among the heather. We both sat down upon a stone. We both sat down and talked together, and we left the owls to stray their lane. Till I loved my queen among the heather. Queen among the heather. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's it. We're going to have claw hammer banjo on all Scott songs from now on. It's official. <laughs> the funny thing <laughs> is, the funny thing is, the song that the Chris sang earlier, "Mountain Go." I actually played banjo on that track. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Wendy. Over now to Chris and Ian. And I think Chris and Ian are new and I think are singing together, but may not be. So either both together or one after the other, or maybe just one of you. I don't know. Looking forward to it and welcome. Um, Lisa Now, you will be after Chris and Ian. Thank you. Yeah, we are new. We've not been in before. We're from just north of Liverpool. And uh, yeah, we are a duo. Um, and we're going to sing a song that has its origins in the Netherlands. It was written, it was written as a play in 1901, and it was about a ship called the Good Hope that went, that a fishing boat that went down, and it was such a, a really thin, dangerous boat, and they lost the whole, all the men in the village. And there was a line in the song that says, "On planks of wood, wood no thicker than your thumb," and so that, that sort of describes just how awful the boat was. It was made into a, a, a folk opera and, and transferred to Whitby. And uh, John Tams wrote this song, um, and it's called "How High the Price." All oh, clouds of oh, sky, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, the price, how deep the water that makes widows out of wives. This, this is, is not fish you're eating. Close the sky, the boat to leaving. One last goodbye, dark waters call us on. The northern sea knows well the sound of grieving. How slight the fate. We put our trust upon, then go we must, no longer can we tarry, the waters wide, yet we must go and try, and like a bird on a silver chance to fly and the water shines like patent leather we search for signs upon this lifeless ground the reckoning sky 
calls down some heavy weather. We've come for fish, and fish needs must be found. Then go we must, no longer can we tarry. The water's wide, yet we must go and try. And like a bird on a silvery morning, home to your side, we will chance to fly. And we ride the flood and trust to glory. Some planks of wood, no thicker than your thumb. It's all that keeps the telling of our story from being lost or maybe being one. Then go we must, no longer can we tarry. The water's white, yet we must go and try. And like a bird on a silvery morning, home to your side. We will chance to fly, then go we must, no longer can we tarry, the water's white, yet we must go and try, and like a bird on a silvery morning, Home to your side, we will chance to fly. Home to your side, we will chance to fly. John Tams. Outstanding. Splendid. Best of the night. Well, for the first bit, yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> yes. Wonderful stuff, Chris and Ian. Why have you only found us now? <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, yeah, great to hear you singing. Please come back while we're running. Um, we, Lisa, we've now we've not been able to sing together. That's why. Uh, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're, we don't. We don't oh, work. okay, great. So it's only it's only last. With months really, yeah. we've been able to sing. Yeah. Great, great. And, and um, I okay. Our first gig on, on Sunday. Sunday. And how wonderful was it to get out of there and sing to actual real life people? It was amazing. It was gorgeous. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. And Lisa Null is here. Um, Lisa, we've not seen you for ages, so welcome back. Really looking forward thank to hearing you, you sing. Um, after Lisa, um, let's hear from Chris Lamb. Okay, I'm feeling better, so I'm ready to sing. Here's a song I I take very seriously, although it's a very silly song in its way. But I learned it when I was about six, five years old. I learned it from my brother, who was around nine years old. He must have learned it from a teacher at the very progressive school he went. The only place I've ever found it collected was in Randolph's Folk Songs of the Ozarks. But it's a great little song. <clears throat> Old Farmer John came a walking home one Sunday afternoon, sat him down neath the maple tree, sang himself a tune. And this was the tune Roy Fadal Dal Dal beneath the maple tree. Roy Fadal Dal Dal, Roy Fadal Dal Date, is the tune the old cow died on. All the cows and the farmers heard around him formed a ring. They never heard old Farmer John so tempted for to sing. 
And this is the tune Roy Fidel Dal Dal beneath the maple tree. Roy Fidel Dal Dal, Roy Fidel Dal date is the tune the old cow died on. The oldest cow in the farmer's herd tried hard to join the song, but the melody she could not get, though her voice was loud and strong. And this was the tune with a dal 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 beneath the maple tree. Roy for dal dal dal, roy for dal dal date is the tune the old cow died on. The farmer laughed till the tears rolled down his cheeks like apples red. The cow got mad and tried to sing until she dropped down dead. And this was the tune, Roy for Dal Dal Dal, beneath the maple tree. Roy for Dal Dal Dal, Roy for Dal Dal Day, tis a tune the old cow died on. Farmer John an inquest held to see what killed his cow. The jury sat and a verdict brought, which I mean to tell you now. They said the cow would be living still to chew her cud with glee if Farmer John hadn't sung that song beneath the maple tree. And this was the tune, Roy for Dal Dal Dal, beneath the maple tree. Roy for Dal Dal Dal, Roy for Dal Dal Day, tis the tune the old cow died on. Great to hear you again, Lisa. Thank you for that. Um, Chris Lamb is next, followed by Patrick De Simio. Right. Um... I've been away for three weeks, and the reason for my different background today is that I'm in a bedroom of my daughter's house in Leeds, hoping not to wake my grandchildren who are on the floor below. This is another uh, Scottish song, but um, also like uh, Chris Carpenter's song, um, which was sung by Archie Fisher, but I'm not going to attempt a Scottish accent. I can't do anything as convincing as Chris did. Um, so this is and um anglicized in fact at market day in huntley town it was there i did agree with boggy side the farmer a uh, 12 months for the fee to drive his two best horses that's a task that i could do to drive his two best horses in the harrow and the plough. Now Boggy had a daughter, her name was Isabel. She was a lily of the valley and a primrose of the dell. And when she went out walking, she chose me for her guide down by the stream at Kerney to watch the fishes glide. And when three months was scarcely o'er, the lassie lost her bloom, and the red fell from her bonny cheeks, and her eyes began to swoon. Now, when nine months were past and gone, she brought to me a son, and I was quickly sent for to see what could be done. I said that I would marry her, but no, that would not do, for you're no match for Bonnie Bell, and she's no match for you. So he sent me packing down the road with not a penny of my fee. Farewell, you lads of Huntley Town, and a long farewell to ye. 
I'll take my young son in my arms, and joy to him I'll bring, and maybe he'll be as dear to me as the last that I adore. And if he be as dear to me as the last that I adore, we'll roam and roam and roam again as we used to do before. If Boggy gets a better match, then Boggy he can tell. Twas me who took the maiden head of Boggy's body bell. But now she's married to a tinker lad who bides in Huntley town. He mends pots and pans and paraffin lamps and scours the country round. Body's body bell. Nice <laughs> Good stuff, Chris. We're doing well for Scott songs tonight. So, um, yeah, another one to add to the list. Great. Um, OK, um, next we have Patrick De Simio, who I think has been before, but I'm beginning to lose it in terms of who's who's been here and who hasn't. But anyway, not for quite some time. So welcome, Patrick. And after Patrick, Ruri Grieg, please. I have an impressive memory, Amanda. It's really great to be back. Uh, my wife and I just had our first little one, so it's... Uh... <laughs> been a little while since I've gotten to make music. It's a delight to be here. Anyhow, this one is a, a vagabond sing-along called Ramblin' After Rain. Uh, Patrick, you're a little bit quiet um, and it seems to be stuck on my window. I don't know if you could just make a loud noise to grab it from me. All right, let's see here. Any better? Yes. Check, check. All right. <laughs> Anyhow, a bit of a vagabond sing-along called Ramblin' After Rain. In the bright and early morning when the golden day is dawning And the birds are calling tweet to cheap coo -ca. I waken from a muddy bed to crocuses around my head oh, And I leave my torpens right amongst the mob And I'll take snow I'll take thunder, I'll take hunger, and I'll take pain. I'll take sorrow matched by wonder, and I'll go rambling after rain. With a pack upon my back, I wander down the rabbit tracks. The preachers have a canny knack to find their way. The leaves around are wet and glistening As I pass the heat she'll kiss me Half a thousand sweethearts will be mine this day So I'll take snow and I'll take thunder I'll take hunger and I'll take pain I'll take sorrow matched by wonder And I'll go rambling after rain Oh I have a hearth and I have a home It does look like the world though I haven't seen the half of it, and out I will. Some prefer a weir place to keep them cozy, keep them safe, and keep them from a lot of life beside the chill. But I'll take snow, and I'll take thunder, I'll take hunger, and I'll take pain. I'll take sorrow matched by wonder, and I'll go rambling after rain. friend and neighbor bless you and your pleasant chains we have chanced a wilder caper and i'll go rambling after rain and i'll take snow and i'll take thunder i'll take hunger and i'll take pain i'll take sorrow matched by wonder and i'll go rambling
hear you sing and play again, Patrick, and congratulations on your new family member. Um, okay, Riri is next, followed by, I don't know if it's David Diamond or the asynchronous Demi Quartet, quartet again, but either way, it will be Riri and then David. Nice, cheerful song there from <coughs> Patrick, so it gives me a chance to sing a miserable one. Uh, <coughs> A version of the nobleman's wedding. I happen to be at another man's wedding. Everyone there had to sing a fine song. But who should there be but the bride's old lover? And these were the words that he did sing. It's man is the man been away seven long years, seven long years, and returned home again. And it's I've been gone. But the two years only, and you prove false and unconstant to me. It's how can you sit at another man's table? How can you sit? of another man's wine and it's how can you lie in the arms of another and you so long a sweetheart of mine the new bride she sat at the head of the table every word he sang oh i don't think he's coming back the suspense is killing me No, I think we've lost Ruri. What a shame. Oh, sh no. Oh, well, it, it, it always happens to somebody. Um, so I think we're going to have to move on. <laughs> ah! um, so in that case, it's David Diamond. I see it's not the asynchronous Demi Quartet, followed by Mick Elfred. David, you might want to yeah. unmute. Yeah, I'd moved the screen about and I'd, I'd lost the unmute button for a second. <laughs> but I've got it back now. And uh, here we go. I, was, I could swear I sang this here before, but it's not on the list. And I know I didn't sing it recently. And uh, it's a song which uh, is very dear to me uh, for various reasons due to the friendship I made after singing it. <sighs> Nowadays, we often gaze on women over 50 without the slightest trace of wrinkles on their face. Doctors go and take their dough to make them young and nifty. But doctors, I defy to tell me just why? No matter how young a prune may be, he's always full of wrinkles. We may get them on our face. Prunes get them every place. Nothing ever worries them. Their life's an open book. But no matter how young a prune may be, he has a worried look. In the kingdom of the fruits, 
the prune is shunned by others. They are not allowed to mingle with the crowd. Though they're never on display with all their highbrow brothers, prunes don't seem to mind. To this fact, they resign. No matter how young a prune may be, he's always full of wrinkles. We may get them on our face, prunes get them every place. Prohibition worries us, but prunes don't sit and brood. For no matter how young a prune may be, he's always getting sued. Every day and every way, our lives keep getting better. We've even learned to fly as days go passing by. But what about that poor old prune? His life is only wetter. No matter, he can't, no wonder he can't grin in the awful stew he's in. Oh, yes. No matter how young a prune may be, he's always full of wrinkles. We may get them on our face. Prunes get them every place. Prunes act very kind, they say. When sickly people moan. But no matter how young a prude may be, he has a heart of stone. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> oh, it's a fun, David. I love it. Okay, thank you. Um, so Mick Alfred is next, then David Kidman. Okay, um, I've had a request to uh, I'll reposition my camera <clears throat> uh, onto my guitar so people can see what I'm doing with my fingers. At least I think that's what it is. It's probably not because people think I'm ugly or anything. At least I hope not. So bear with me a second while I do that. Ah, good. Oh, I think that's done it. I went over half a 
Lovely stuff, Mick, as always. Um, good to see the fingering, although we missed your face. But uh, anyway, um, could everybody who has performed and has not yet put the details of their song in the chat, please do so, so do so, so that our next singer um, can compile them into an index. So um, that is David Kidman. And um, after David, I think we have yeah, I think we'll have time for Paddy Hannan, followed by Martin Nail to close the evening. So over to you, David. Yeah, thanks, Amanda. Yeah, I think everybody's been uh, really good at putting their details in the chat tonight. So thanks very much. Um, I said I wasn't going to sing a Nancy Griffith song, but I am now. This one was written by Nancy with Rick West, uh, Trouble in the Fields, and it's only very short. Well, baby, I know that we've got trouble in the fields When the bankers swarm like locusts out there Turning away our yields The trains roll by our silos Silver in the rain They leave our pockets full of nothing But our dreams and the golden grain oh have you seen the folks in line downtown at the station they're all buying their ticket out and a talk in the great depression our parents had their hard times 50 years ago when they stood out in these empty fields in dust as deep as snow and all this trouble in our fields if this rain can fall these wounds can heal they'll never take our native soil but if we sell that new John Deere, then we'll work these crops with sweat and tears. You'll be the mule, I'll be the plow. Come harvest time, we'll work it out. For there's still a lot of love here in these troubled fields. Now there's a book up on the shelf about the Dust Bowl days, 
and there's a little bit of you and a little bit of me in the photos on every page. Now our children live in the city and they rest upon our shoulders. They never want the rain to fall or the weather to get colder. And all this trouble in our fields, if this rain can fall, these wounds can heal. They'll never take our native soil. But if we sell that new John Deere, then we'll work these crops with sweat and tears. You'll be the mule, I'll be the plough. Come harvest time, we'll work it out. For there's still a lot of love here in these troubled fields. Oh, you'll be the mule, I'll be the plough. Come harvest time, we'll work it out. For there's still a lot of love here in these troubled fields. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you. Good to have one from Nancy from you. Thanks, David. Okay, so the evening is drawing to an end. We have two more singers. I've, I've uh, messed up the timing slightly, so we will be going uh, on slightly beyond 11, but um, uh, just two singers left. One is Paddy Hannan and the second is Martin Nail. So over to you, Paddy. Okay, um, 20 seconds of history in case any of our far flown audience are not familiar with the cockade. Um, 600 years ago, if you wanted to raise an army, march on London, uh, depose the king and be kingified yourself, you had a number of problems. Weapons wasn't one of them. Send a bag of girls to France, they would send a, a shipload of swords over, give them all to your men, march on, but you need men. So you oik up all your good men and serfs out of the fields, tell them to bring their pitchforks, because they may be handy. Come the battle, how are you going to tell who's your men and who's them men? So you cut up some ribbons, pin them to their hats, that's a cockade. So, this is the white cockade. Tis true my love's enlisted, and he wears a white cockade. He is a handsome young man, likewise a roving blade. He is a handsome young man, just right to serve the king. Oh, me very, oh, me very, oh, me very, oh, me very. Heart is breaking all for the loss of him. As I rode out one morning, as I wandered over yon moss, I had no thoughts of listing till some soldiers did me cross. They kindly did invite me to take a flowing bow. They advanced, they advanced, they advanced, they advanced me some money to guineas and a crown. My love is tall and handsome, and come life for to see. But by a sad misfortune, a soldier now is he. May the man that first enlisted him not prosper night and day. How I wish that, how I wish that, how I wish that, how I wish that. He may perish all in the foaming spray. And may he never prosper, and may he never thrive, in that he puts his hand to as long as he's alive. 
May the very ground he walks upon and grass refuse to grow since he has been thee, 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 only cause of my sorrow, grief, and woe. She then pulled out her handkerchief to wipe a flowing eye. Wipe up, wipe up, then mournful tears, likewise that mournful sigh. And be you of good courage, till I return again. You and I love, you and I love, you and I love, you and I love. We'll be married when I return again. Awesome. Thank you, Paddy. Um, and uh, our next singer and final singer this evening is Martin Nail, who is no doubt disgusted to be asked to sing after 11. But there you go. Um, we don't have to get to the tube or the bus or drive home. So um, that's what's happening. And um, just before Mar Martin sings, a big thank you as ever to Livy wielding the mute button with great might, to David compiling the list, and to absolutely everybody who's been here this evening. What a fabulous evening. And We've to Amanda. Amazing. And to me. And to Such amazing good songs this evening. Um, over to Martin to, uh, to finish off. Of all the money that e'er I had, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I've done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Of all the comrades that e'er I had, they're sorry for my going away. And all the sweethearts that e'er I had, they'd wish me one more day to stay. But since it falls unto my lot, that I should rise and you should not. I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. If I had money enough to spend, and leisure time to sit a while. There is a fair maid in this town that sorely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks and ruby lips while own she has my heart in thrall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Chosen, well sung. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.